Welcome to this tutorial on manipulating sequences. In this tutorial, we will use BioPython tools to generate a random DNA sequence, slice a DNA sequence at specified locations, join two sequences together to form a new sequence that is to concatenate, find the length of the sequence, count the number of individual bases or part of the string, Find a particular base or part of the string. Convert a sequence object to a mutable sequence object. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with undergraduate biochemistry or bioinformatics and basic Python programming. If not, refer to the Python tutorials at the given link. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu operating system version 14.10, Python version 2.7.8, IPython interpreter version 2.3.0, BioPython version 1.64. Let me open the terminal and start IPython interpreter. Press Ctrl, Alt and T key simultaneously. At the prompt, type IPython and press Enter ipython prompt appears on the screen. Using biopython, we can generate a sequence object for a random DNA sequence of any specified length. Let us now generate a sequence object for a DNA sequence of 20 bases. At the prompt, type import random. Press enter. Next, import a CQ module from biopackage. Often, SEQ is pronounced as SEQ. At the prompt, type from bio.seq import SEQ. Press enter. We will use bio.alphabet module to specify the alphabets in the DNA sequence. Type from bio.alphabet import generic underscore DNA. Press enter. Type the following command to create a sequence object from the random DNA sequence. Store the sequence in a variable DNA1. Please note, in this command, use two single quotes instead of a double quote. Press enter. For the output, type DNA1. Press enter. The output shows the sequence object for the random DNA sequence. If you want a new sequence, press up arrow key to get the same command as above. Press enter. For the output, type the variable name DNA1. Press enter. The output shows a new DNA sequence which is different from the first one. About sequence objects. The sequence objects usually act like normal Python strings. So, follow the normal conventions as you do for Python strings. In Python, we count the characters in the string starting from 0 instead of 1. The first character in the sequence is position 0. Back to the terminal. Often, you may need to work with only a part of the sequence. Now, let's see how to extract parts of the string and store them as sequence objects. For example, we will slice the DNA sequence at two positions. First, between bases 6 and 7. This will extract a fragment from the beginning of the sequence to the sixth base in the sequence. The second slice will be between bases 11 and 12. The second fragment will be from the twelfth base to the end of the sequence. Type the following command at the prompt to extract the first fragment. String 1 equal to DNA1 within brackets 0 semicolon 6. String 1 is the variable to store the first fragment. The rest of the command follows as in normal Python. Enclosed in these brackets are the start and the stop positions separated by a colon. The positions are inclusive of the start but exclusive of the stop position. Press enter. 
to view the output, type string1, press enter. The output shows the first fragment as the sequence object. To extract the second string from the sequence, press up arrow key and edit the command as follows. Change the name of the variable to string2 and positions to 11 and 20. For the output, type string2, press enter. Now we have the second fragment also as a sequence object. Let us concatenate, that is, add the two strings together to form a new fragment. Store the new sequence in a variable DNA2. Type DNA2 equal to string1 plus string2. Press enter. Please note, we cannot add sequences with incompatible alphabets. That is, we cannot concatenate a DNA sequence and a protein sequence to form a new sequence. The two sequences must have the same alphabet attribute. To view the output, type DNA2. Press enter. The output shows a new sequence which is a combination of string 1 and string 2. To find the length of the new sequence, we will use len function. Type len within parenthesis DNA2. Press enter. Output shows the sequence as 15 bases long. We can also count the number of individual bases present in the sequence. To do so, we will use count function. For example, to count the number of alanines present in the sequence, type the following command. DNA2 dot count within parenthesis within double quotes. Alphabet A. Press enter. The output shows the number of alanines present in the sequence DNA2. To find a particular base or part of the string, we will use find function. Type DNA2 dot find within parenthesis within double quotes GC. Press enter. The output indicates the position of the first instance of the appearance of GC in the string. Normally, a sequence object cannot be edited. To edit a sequence, we have to convert it to the mutable sequence object. To do so, type DNA3 equal to DNA2 dot to mutable open and close parenthesis. Press enter. For the output, type DNA3. Press enter. Now the sequence object can be edited. Let us replace a base from the sequence. For example, to replace a base present at 5th position to alanine, type DNA3 within brackets 5 equal to within double quotes alphabet A. Press enter. For the output, type DNA3. Press enter. Observe the output. The cytosine at position 5 is replaced with alanine. To replace a part of the string, type the following command. DNA3 within brackets 6 semicolon 10 equal to within double quotes A, T, G, C, press enter. For the output, type DNA3, press enter. The output shows the four bases from the position 6 to 9 are replaced with new bases A, T, G, C, once you have edited your sequence object, convert it back to the read-only form. Type the following DNA4 equal to DNA3 dot to SEQ open and close parenthesis. Press enter. For the output, type DNA4. Press enter. Let's summarize. In this tutorial, we have learnt to generate a random DNA sequence, slice a DNA sequence at specified locations, join two sequences together to form a new sequence, that is to concatenate. We have also learnt how to use len, count and find functions. Convert sequence object to a mutable sequence object and replace a base or part of the string. For the assignment, 
generate a random DNA sequence of 30 bases. Using BioPython tools, calculate the GC percentage and molecular weight of the sequence. Your completed assignment will be as follows. The output shows the GC content as percentage. The output shows the molecular weight of the DNA sequence. This video summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. We conduct workshops and give certificates. Please contact us. Spoken Tutorial Project is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT MHRD Government of India. This is Nehalata from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.